Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading session Friday, midday afternoon, update 8th September 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal. Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's look at the stats. Overnight, Asian markets certainly under pressure on the back of a weaker dollar again. The dollar certainly seems to be collapsing on the back of uh, Hurricane Irma now due in and obviously hurting growth, and therefore obviously that's interpreted as being that the Fed will not raise rates, although that does go against the flow of uh, uh, Fed uh, Esther and Fed uh, Dudley, who said that they are going to raise rates. So uh, again, um, that's up in the air. Now, Mr. Trump did actually pass the three-month extension on the debt ceiling and has indicated that he is willing to work with Democrats, or not willing, he is going to work with Democrats uh, and uh, for a sustainable long-term solution on debt ceiling, and that certainly isn't. Uh, helping his uh, popularity ratings amongst his own party. Now, whether or not the dollar, I mean, there's two theories as to why the dollar's fallen overnight. Number one, obviously, Hurricane is going to uh, hurt. Uh, also, the um, uh, earthquake in Mexico, uh, obviously, causing uh, devastation, causing major economic, uh, a major economic cost there, and pushing them back in terms of growth. Also, with regards to Hurricane Irma, devastates the Caribbean. Uh, okay, so. And again, there are all the hurricanes in the pipeline. Now, whether or not that's going to be used as an excuse to delay raising rates, and hence the reason why the dollar's down overnight, I don't know. Is it because his own, Mr. Uh, Trump's own party now is talking against him and going against him because he's he's going to deal with the devil, i.e. the Democrats? That's Again, that certainly is speculation. So those two factors certainly driving the dollar. If I bring up the chart, chart the US dollar, it really is a dollar story. Uh, you can see the dollar itself getting butchered overnight. Uh, it's certainly a, a straight drop. If I bring up a 60-minute chart, you can see the actual drop itself. As soon as we gave way in terms of support here, it's been a, a one-way room uh, lower. Now, the weekly chart itself is into key, key support, anywhere in the zone, okay? Obviously, if we were to break this level here at 12150, then it certainly doesn't bode well for the dollar at all. You're looking at uh, 12164, currently 12220. Then you really are looking for one hell of a drop in the euro and the dollar. And that will obviously cause the euro usd to move higher the aussie dollar to move higher new Zealand and kiwi to move higher so again something really to contemplate over that's quite uh quite dangerous especially given the fact that the trump reflation trade obviously triggered the dollar rally and now obviously it's all gone all basically gone in a pear shaped okay so that certainly is one concern uh, in terms of the markets themselves a asian markets overnight we did have chinese uh, export data coming in weaker than expected although imports came in stronger uh, Nikkei down 121 points. The Shanghai down, or well, basically is flat. Okay, Shanghai Hang Seng was higher. So that's basically the situation there. In terms of uh, European markets, you, like I said, you have um, uh, European markets. You actually have the Euro USD trading at 1.2070. Again, that's risk off given the fact that a stronger Euro hurts exports. As you can see on the daily chart, we are now looking to potentially break out. If you break out of this double top resistance on the daily chart, then you really are looking at uh, European equities coming under severe pressure due to a stronger euro. Okay, uh, stronger euro hurts exports. Okay, also bringing up the chart of the Aussie, you can see the Aussie itself pushing higher as well overnight. Dollar itself certainly has been butchered, basically. That's the uh, conclusion. Okay, in terms of economic data from the uh, European side today, you had German data coming in weaker, Japanese GDP numbers coming in weaker as well. Like I said, Japanese, uh, Chinese exports coming in weaker. You had uh, Chinese trade balance itself coming in weaker as well. Unemployment rates held steady in Switzerland. Uh, Germany's current account came in weaker. Exports, imports both came in weaker, therefore risk off. Uh, French industrial output came in weaker. French budget came in weaker. In Spanish industrial output came in weaker. It was just the UK that certainly was the bright spot with the total trade balance, good balance, industrial production, manufacturing production, all coming out better than expected, although inflation did actually come out in line, which in and of itself has sent the uh, sterling spiking at the moment. Okay, so that's the status quo. We are now looking forward to uh, UK GDP numbers or NISCR GDP estimates, sorry. Then we've got Canadian data, FOMC Harker is speaking, so we'll see, uh, hopefully get a... Uh, Great uh, understanding of the uh, dollar index and where it's headed, and we'll take it from there. In terms of the technical picture, let's just quickly go over the technical picture for you. From my perspective, 10 minute chart, German DAX is trading sideways. Uh, I am looking for this gap to close, so my target will be gap fill at 12215 uh, on the back of a, a stronger euro. 60 minute chart as well, looking for that to break lower and look to potentially close that gap, that gap at 12220. In terms of the CAC, 
Tack really is the weakest link, okay. Close the, pushes higher, closes the gap, even with a stronger euro, which is quite impressive. And from my perspective now, we are now looking to head lower. Uh, looking to head lower now down to uh, 5050. That's your next potential level. That's my interpretation on the French CAC. In terms of FTSE 100 at the moment, you are trading an inside bar, although it has come under some base pressure given the, the rally in sterling. Okay, certainly has caught the FTSE traders off by guard. Uh, off guard now, uh, we are now looking at a potential. We could, I mean, given the fact that the GBP USD now is above 1.32, we could easily target back down to 7300 again on a strongest uh, currency. Just, so just bear that in mind in terms of of the uh, FTSE 100 okay going going forward uh, okay so I think that's really is a summation really of European equities from my perspective again FTSE certainly has a uh, possibility or a chance of revisiting that 7300 level uh, on the back of uh, stronger sterling so again it is causing concerns there okay so I think that's a good summation really of European equities uh, again Chinese data certainly isn't exactly spectacular Japanese data weaker the UK data has actually come in stronger, so again, that certainly could be a, uh, a reason for supporting the FTSE, but given the fact that sterling is now pushing higher on the back of expectations of a potential rate hike or a hawkish, hawkish uh, BOE, again, that could certainly weigh on the FTSE as well. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye.